Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today, part two of my carbon fiber ZL1 1LE front end conversion. Part one, I covered removing the front bumper, which we have right here. And part two, we're gonna go ahead and swap out the lower and upper 1LE grills. The lower grill for sure is significantly different than the standard ZL1 grill, which maybe you can see it over here. Um, it looks like the upper grill is also maybe slightly different. We'll take a closer look once I actually get these things removed. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to actually go ahead and dive in on deconstructing this bumper. We're going to have to remove this little center section piece here, and then we'll take a look at what we need to do to remove the upper and lower grill. I believe it's mostly just some tabs and stuff like that, but we'll look closer. I've never done uh, anything inside the bumper itself. So this will be kind of a learning process for, for myself as well. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen part one, video link should be up here somewhere. Watch that. If you are curious on how to remove this bumper, uh, that's pretty much what we covered in that video. And uh, yeah, so this one will be hopefully a short video. Move the center section, get these upper and lower grill, and then that will leave us with part three, which I plan on uh, doing the inlet and canards and then part four should be the final one where i'll actually install the one le uh, splitter here plus some a splitter guard that goes underneath that so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and tinker with this for a little bit and we'll get this thing uh middle piece popped out for this i believe it's just a couple tabs um and then it slides out trying to get this center crumple uh zone piece out it looks like you actually have to split the plastic from the styrofoam, which is uh, a little bit confusing. You have the two obvious clips here and here, but you also have two of these weird shaped uh, plastic screws. It has a little square cut out. I actually found my Rainbird um, irrigation system tool fit in here uh, to let me unscrew it from here and here. And then you'll have two little clips here on the bottom underneath and then you have two clips on the top right here that should allow us to pull this plastic piece away from the styrofoam i think there's two couple hidden clips behind this that you need to remove uh, to get the actual uh, styrofoam piece out of the way i'm going to go ahead and get these clips popped out So it looks like the top ones are much larger than the two clips on the bottom. Those are out of the way. There we go. So now we have the big gangly plastic piece off. Move that to the side here. And now we have some dead moth particles and stuff. We have the styrofoam piece, which Looks like it's still held on. It looks like there is some kind of metal clip or something right here. So I'm gonna have to crawl down and see what this is. So there's one on each side holding this piece in place. Okay, I looked at this a little bit closer, super easy. You actually just squeeze it and it slips right through. It's not like a, anything uh, super fancy. <laughs> so just squeeze it a little bit so it can have clearance from the styrofoam piece and the whole styrofoam piece hopefully will come out without being damaged. This little clip to work. There we go. And the styrofoam crash piece, hope you can see that. Feels kind of fragile, so you probably don't want to damage that. But as you can see here, now we have a nice clean view of the grill lower and upper and 
I'm not sure if you're a fan of these, but it has a ton of these little metal clips. I believe you just get some pliers, pop those out, and the grill should come undone. Not sure how familiar everyone is with these little metal tab clips or whatever. They're kind of a pain. I'm always worried I'm going to break them or something. Um, I'm no pro with these, so if you have your own technique, go ahead and get these things off. Um, I found using some like these combination pliers and kind of just, you know, having it hook around the lip uh, underneath it and then kind of just kind of pulling it up and pushing it and it just kind of slides off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of these clips on the lower grill, uh, actually upper grill, <laughs> don't even know where I'm at now. Uh, upper grill, I'm going to see if I can get this thing popped out and we'll take a look and compare it with the 1LE grill and see if there's any differences. I'm not sure if there is. I think there is, but we'll, we'll know for sure here uh, shortly. Now that we have all of the little uh, metal clips out of the way, what you need to do is slowly work your way to unclip the actual large plastic clips that the metal clips are kind of holding in place, plus the other ones. They were only on some of them, but you're gonna have to pretty much uh, push the tab in or work your way slowly over maybe wedge something in there as you work so it doesn't pop back into place uh, it's gonna be kind of tedious I'm just gonna go ahead and knock this off uh, knock this out off camera and uh, and once I'm near the completion and I'll pop her back on and we'll take a look at getting this uh, upper grill removed as you can see here the upper grill has been removed and so far in this entire project this has been the worst portion of everything I could not get the, the myriad of tabs to all sequentially release simultaneously so I could get this upper grill out. I was trying to wedge stuff between, because you see here, you have these uh, tabs from the bumper, which of course you don't want to damage uh, because these, if you break these off, then you're kind of, you know, at, at a bad state with your entire bumper. Now, see here we have the grill looking kind of dirty. But uh, so it sits in here, up here, and it has these tension tabs that I guess apply extra tension on and, and, and actually lock in to the uh, bumper tabs. And I was trying to, to pry them up. You have in there super close together, and there's tons of them on the top and bottom. And so to try to manipulate all these enough to get it to pop out, it wouldn't quite pop out. And then as you try to pop out this side, it kind of swivels the other side and pops those in. So I was trying to put some wedges in there. And after about an hour of messing with this, I broke out the big guns, got my Dremel out, did not touch the bumper tabs, but I got my Dremel and I cut about halfway down the tabs of this upper grill. I don't plan on reusing this upper grill. They're not super expensive to replace if you do plan on going back. But I, you know, I was like, whatever. I was kind of done with it. And sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do some, some slicing and dicing, which is what I did. I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, so I pretty much notched the tabs, folded them up. That let me take all the tension off these tabs and I was able to just pop the upper uh, grill out relatively easier. Uh, if you're trying to, to retain your upper grill to be reused or if you want to sell it, don't do this. And I guess you can spend your time trying to get this. Or if you have a suggestion, feel free to leave it in the comments for others who, um, if you have a better method to get these freaking tabs. I mean, maybe I've had like four people all simultaneously holding the tabs and then another person to pry the grill out. But that's the... Uh, <laughs> That's what I came to. I just got tired of messing with it. So, yeah, I'll just chop them. Because, um, yeah, big thing is if, you should, if I was pushing wet, you know, a wedge here, like a flathead screwdriver, it was starting to scuff up my actual grill. Even though it's mostly underneath where the, where the upper grill is going to be, I don't want to gouge up my paint trying to get a stupid grill off when I could just take the grill off the manly way, I guess. I'm going to take this over to the 1LE upper grill. We can take a look and see how they uh, differ. Here we have the 1LE upper grill and then the traditional ZL1 upper grill. And you can tell the, um, the actual visual look of the, the, the finish is different. This is more of a, kind of like more with the, the 1LE uh, satinish look versus the traditional ZL1 which has that glossy black finish. But not only that, 
the actual um, pattern of of whatever the actual grill itself is different. You can see how they look a lot different. See, there's a big opening here, kind of thing here, but versus here, much smaller. Then you have a little bit of narrow opener. Um, so it definitely looks different. And also notice uh, it has extra, I don't know if structure or something, but this is much wider up here. And it's got these little cutouts, maybe with a weight thing. Um, there's a big tab thing here, none up here. Yeah, then this is about the same here and here and then the same over here So uh, that's the big difference. I'm seeing mostly the sections larger it has these added sections here the finish and then the actual pattern the pattern will match the lower grill um, You know cutouts or whatever these are the grill itself So definitely if you are planning on replacing the lower grill you want to do the upper grill if you want to keep that consistency throughout now, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this 1LE uh, upper grill. We'll move it over to the bumper and get this thing snapped in. Hopefully, it's easier to snap in than the old one was to remove. Back over at the bumper with the 1LE uh, upper grill and the big wide piece right here um, on both sides. As you can see here, this actually uh, needs to be on the top part. So, for behind the grill and the grill sitting on its base, you want it to be situated. Uh, like this and then you go from the back push forward and it should snap in and engage all these tabs here With the bumper tabs make sure you don't bind anything up and damage anything And you actually may have to lift up the center of the upper part of the bumper Which is sagging without the upper grill. I actually have a microfiber in here just to kind of hold it overnight and uh, And yeah, so pretty much you're just gonna have to uh, probably want to start in the middle which has this main center tab right here, and then you have two offset tabs, and you probably want to start that right at the direct center of your bumper, and then you can work your way outward. So. As you can see here, the upper grill is in place. I went ahead and put the little metal um, tab locks back into place. I think there's seven, I hope I didn't lose one. And I believe it's the four outside corners and then the three main middle ones around the flow tie. So that's what I did. I'd have to review my footage to double check. So make sure you just take note when you remove yours. Um, this was also a pain, to, <laughs> this whole upper grill is a pain. Uh, to get it snapped back into place. I just had to kind of line it up push it in line up the tabs and then you can lock Sorry for the light you can lock this will snap in over over this little edge lip here on both sides That kind of holds it in place and then you just got to work your way outside to ends kind of what I did and Just be careful, you know, maybe you have to push a little bit Work your way around work your way back and forth and eventually it'll you start getting ones that actually uh, snap into place so uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the front of, uh, of, of the bumper just to show you how it looks. Kind of a cramped situation here, but just to give you a real quick general idea of what we're talking about. Um, I don't know, maybe you can see it right here. That is the upper grill in place. And uh, I'm gonna junk my old upper grill since I cut the, <laughs> cut the tabs off. Uh, if you were able to get yours off, you are a better uh, person, man or woman or whatever than myself and vastly more patient and you can probably sell yours or hold on to it for a rainy day so that wraps up the upper grill and i'm already winded here <laughs> but uh we're going to move on to the lower grill with more tabs yes more beautiful tabs they are a little bit different um and also a thing to note you have a wire runs down here that um, has a little wire um, zip tie looking things that hold it into the lower grill. Make sure you get your trim tool, pop all of those off. Looks like one, two, three, four, looks like six, maybe. So yeah, make sure you remove those. So when you pull the grill off, you're not just stuck um, with that. And then we have a couple different types of little clips here. We have some white one up there and white one here. And then you have another one over here. And then it looks like you have a couple uh, squeeze type clips that you need a pair of pliers for like right here squeeze that and then you can pop this uh, out and uh, Yeah, we'll see how difficult this is. I will see if I can get this off and I'll report back 
lower grill has been removed. Easier than the upper grill, I think. Uh, still tedious, but since it's a, the clips aren't nearly as close together, you have more room, you can get one to come out, move to the next one, and I don't know, my light's doing some kind of SOS thing over here. But, uh, so yeah, uh, do make sure you remove the, maybe you can see it on the white background here, the six white clips. And I found the easiest way, uh, they sit like this, kind of the, to, to clamp the uh, uh, grill in place on the uh, tabs. I just push straight into the centerpiece and then get a little pry tool or something, you can pop it right out, super easy. Um, careful with these, these hold the wire in place. Uh, I did break a couple of these there. I mean, they're <laughs> almost impossible to get out completely, all of them without some damage to those. I think I have some replacement ones. I'll look around in my grab bag of goodies. But uh, yeah, so the uh, lower grill has been removed. Uh, make sure you wipe everything down so you have a nice clean area on your bumper. Uh, but you can get an idea of what the tabs and everything looks like. It's a good number of them. But uh, yeah, so that was uh, definitely a fun, fun process. We can take it over here and take a look at a quick comparison between the Z01 grill, of course the most obvious being the uh, gloss on the ZL1 versus the satin or matte or whatever they want to say this is on the um, ZL11 LE. Yeah, it's plastic in the way here, but uh, also the big thing you can most likely see if I set it kind of like this. Well, of course, this has like these almost like channels here, I guess for air, help scoop some of that air in here. Uh, the normal ZL1 does not have that. The patterns or grids or whatever this is, or uh, I guess more dense, there's more of them versus the much wider uh, traditional ZL1 um, little, you know, diamonds or whatever, see the size of this. And then you can see much smaller. Um, overall, I just think the 1LE um, lower grill looks a lot cooler. And I guess it's supposed to help get a little bit more air into the car, especially with the scoops. And I have my uh, uh, big mouth um, intake scoop that kind of sits right in this general area. So that might help scoop some more air into that, maybe. I don't know. Probably negligible, but, uh, um, you know, every little bit helps. But uh, I want to go away from the gloss since I'm carbon fibering the entire car on the exterior. So I figured the satin um, would look better. Plus, um, I think that they did note that on the back, I want to say the back is different. I believe that there's supposed to be some clips. I think this whole bottom row here is helps um, lock in the 1LE splitter maybe. But if you look at this, it has, it doesn't have center, uh, multiple center clip areas maybe. Um, well, looking at it, look, I mean, it looks, yeah, it looks like, if you see right in the center, not the very middle one, but the two little things that come off the side between the mounts down here. This does not have that here and here. And I think those tie into the 1LE splitter. That's just one of the main reasons I did go to the 1LE lower ground. I might not have messed with it if it wasn't, uh, if that wasn't what part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a microfiber and some detailing spray, clean that uh, little opening there to just make it sure, you know, the crevices you can't normally clean, wipe all that up. Then we will get the 1LE um, lower grill moved over to the bumper. I have the lower grill kind of pre-staged here, of course, back behind the bumper and uh, pretty straightforward. Though I heard this can be a little bit tricky as well. We're going to lift her up, line it up with the tabs, make sure the tabs are lined up. You don't have any that or, you know, not lining up in the various uh, slots in the grill and noted, um, some of these tabs are for, I believe, the 1LE uh, splitter. I think this one and this one, and maybe some of these other little tabs. Um, I guess we'll find out once I get this thing snapped in. And uh, because if, you, if, you, if you've seen the 1LE splitter, which we'll see in a later video, it actually goes over, over top to some degree of the bottom part of your bumper. So, uh, 
Hopefully I don't have no difficulties with that later on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and I'll let you know of any issues I run into. But uh, I'm just gonna lift her up and we're gonna hopefully snap it in. Lower grill is in place. 100 times easier getting the lower grill in uh, just like getting it out versus anything with the upper grill. So if you're just doing a lower grill, if you get damaged or something like that, super easy, super easy in comparison. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, the lower grill is a breeze in comparison to upper grill. So if you don't have to do the upper grill, yeah, maybe skip that. <laughs> but of course, if you're going for the match like I am, you have to do both. So uh, super easy. I just lined up the tabs sat it in place just make sure every single tab is going through one of the openings if you have some of these tabs like this one wanted to dive pretty much below um it wanted to dive below or above actually where it's supposed to be so i had to kind of finesse it up into that spot there and uh but uh yeah went in pretty easily make sure you knock out the six little locking tabs these snap super easy and just make sure the flat edge is against the grill and then you can reattach your wire. I, like I said, one of them is broken. I'm gonna look for a replacement. And then the other one is also kind of broken. I mean, it still pops in, but the uh, the tie actually where it holds the wire is broken. So I'm gonna look for two of those, not a big deal. And then precursor work for when I do the uh, fog light bezels, this wire actually does come along and attach to that. So I, when I, I popped it loose right here from over here, I, just, I didn't pop that one back in. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this into the light a little bit more so we can take a look at how it looks with the upper and lower 1LE grills. And then we'll wrap this up. Here is the bumper with the 1LE upper and lower grills in place. Of course, I still have a little plastic uh, protective thing on the ZL1 logo. I'd like to black that out and black out the flow tie, but maybe that's another project another day. But uh, this is how it looks. Um, currently and uh you know overall i think it looks pretty pretty good it'll look awesome with the one le splitter and all the rest of the one le but this is what it looks like uh just how it is with the rest of the stuff being the traditional z01 of course now it mismatches with the traditional z01 glossy finish versus the satin finish but uh this just gives you a good idea of what to expect and what's needed to replace the grill now if you happen to damage your lower grill or upper grill and you're using this video um, just replace the grill just with the same one same exact process um, you know nothing's different with that and if you are planning on the, getting this bumper back up here and you've pretty much this is you're just here for that you know replacement video don't forget you got these components here that need to go in it's going to be the styrofoam piece is going to snap in and if you see here it has a little slot here on each end that actually will snap in onto these tabs right here. Once that snaps in, then you can get uh, this plastic surround piece around it. And that's actually then held on by four pop clips. Plus, I believe you can then reach through here. And I want to say that then screws in that big plastic screw. And then this will actually then uh, pop into place uh, on top of everything. So, uh, or you can just watch the disassembly portion of this video to get an idea and reverse what we did. So, uh, yeah, overall, that should wrap up part two of the 1LE carbon fiber front end conversion. Starting part three, we'll actually be actually doing some carbon fiber of the carbon fiber conversion so far right now we haven't done any fun stuff so this is just prep work hopefully you guys will check out part one if you haven't seen that one and then of course part three coming up i may add edit this video and add that link in there up there somewhere uh stay tuned feel free to subscribe like share comment all that exciting stuff got a bunch more videos coming hopefully get this whole front end done and then after we do all that we're going to do some carbon fiber on the sides and we're going to do some carbon fiber in the back. And, uh, yeah, we have some more goodies coming on. So, uh, as always, peace.